I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. To know each other we must reach beyond the sphere of our sense perceptions. It will soon be possible to transmit wireless messages around the world, so simply that any individual can carry and operate his own apparatus. A new idea must not be judged by its immediate results. Of all the frictional resistances, the one that most retards human movement is ignorance. Merciless is the law of nature, and rapidly and irresistibly we are drawn to our doom. These are only new devices for putting the weak at the mercy of the strong. My belief is firm in the law of compensation. The true rewards are ever in proportion to the labor and sacrifices made. The progressive development of man is vitally dependent on invention. When natural inclination develops into a passionate desire, one advances towards his goal in seven league boots. Marconi is a good fellow. Let him continue. He is using 17 of my patents. Inventors don't have time for a married life. You may live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. As I review the events of my past life, I realize how subtle are the influences that shape our destinies. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment and merging of races, and we are still far from this blissful realization. Most certainly, some planets are not inhabited, but others are, and among these there must exist life under all conditions and phases of development. Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world, that they are wholly oblivious to what is passing on within themselves. So astounding are the facts in this connection, that it would as though the Creator, Himself had electrically designed this planet. It's not the love you make, it's the love you give. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. The individual is ephemeral, races and nations come and pass away, but man remains. If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six and nine, then you would have the key to the universe. What one man calls God, another calls the laws of physics. We crave for new sensations, but soon become indifferent to them. The wonders of yesterday are today common occurrences. Life is and will ever remain an equation incapable of solution, but it contains certain known factors. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply, and be quite insane. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. My brain is only a receiver, in the universe there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. Be alone, that is the secret of invention, be alone, that is when ideas are born. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. Of all things, I liked books best. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. The trend of opinion among eugenists is that we must make marriage more difficult. Certainly no one who is not a desirable parent should be permitted to produce progeny. Of the various branches of electrical investigation, perhaps the most interesting and immediately the most promising is that dealing with alternating currents. 
From my childhood I had been intended for the clergy. This prospect hung like a dark cloud on my mind. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. Let the future tell the truth, and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs, the future, for which I have really worked, is mine. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. In the 21st century, the robot will take the place which slave labor occupied in ancient civilization. The harness of waterfalls is the most economical method known for drawing energy from the sun. The feeling is constantly growing on me that I have been the first to hear the greetings of one planet to another.